Now, if you've watched me for any length of time, you know I pretty much only wear black shirts. But that doesn't mean you don't. And that doesn't mean your customers don't. So how do you half tone a graphic on any color shirt? I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. Let's start with that example you saw on that shirt, that we're gonna do a green half tone on a green shirt. The background of this image is the green color we're gonna knock out and replace with the green shirt. So here are your steps. First, we're gonna duplicate this layer with Command or Control J. Command on a Mac, Control on a PC. When you get to the halftoning steps, you need black because that's how the halftone works. It only works in grayscale. So you need black as a knockout color. So how do we make the green a black color? Well, we're gonna add a new layer above it. We're gonna hit Shift Delete to fill the layer and we're gonna fill it with a color. We're gonna fill it with this green color. Click OK. And then we're gonna make our blending mode difference. And what that does is that turns everything that's green black or anything that's close to green in relation close to black. And so that's exactly how we're gonna make this green color knockout with halftone. So let's merge these two layers together. So we're gonna select the top two layers, hold down shift and just click on both layers. Hit Command or Control E to merge them. Now the rest of these steps are just like our other halftone video. And if you'd like a video that covers those steps a little more slowly, you can find that up in the corner or down below in the description. I will cover all the steps in here, just maybe at a little more rapid pace. So right click on your layer, go to duplicate layer, and we're gonna duplicate to a new document. Then we're gonna click okay. Now we're gonna go to image, mode, grayscale then image, adjustments, levels. And you're gonna notice there's a lot less white in here because of the way that we're doing this. So we're gonna bring this all the way down. Again, white is what shows the ink through. Black is what disappears or we're gonna have the shirt show through. So I'm gonna bring this up a little bit, bring this down a little bit more so we get some more bright areas. I want this area here to be half toned a little bit, but maybe not too much. So maybe I'll bump this middle slider up to make the gray a little bit brighter. There we go. I think I like that. And again, this is the point where you would adjust if you don't like the final results, you come back and tweak with your level settings. Click OK. Then we're gonna go to Image, Mode, Bitmap. Flatten layers. Yep, we're at 300 pixels per inch, halftone screen. 30 to 40 lines per inch is really great. I'm gonna go 35 for this one, just somewhere in the middle there. Hit Command or Control A to select all, Command or Control C to copy. Go back to the original image. We're gonna hide this ugly one. Select the original, click the layer mask, hold down Option or Alt and click on the layer mask, and then Command or Control V to paste. Click off it. And there we go. We've got our halftone image with green being what kind of it fades into, which is the green shirt color. To verify our work, click the little plus icon to create a new layer, drag it to the bottom, hit shift delete, and we can hit okay because we've already selected that green color in the previous steps. And there we go. And if you wanna compare, let's zoom in just a hair and compare, hold down shift and click on the layer mask. You can turn it on or off. And see what's going on there. It doesn't look like it's too big of a change. So I think that looks great. Hide the bottom layer and you can save this as a PNG or PDF, send it to your RIP software and print it. Now, what happens when you get a graphic like this, which is a transparent PNG, it's got a bunch of semi-transparent pixels in it because it's a, a bright glow or something like that, or let's say you get an image that is a flame or a smoke logo that's got these semi-transparent areas on it. Well, the only way you can half tone is if everything is fully opaque. So what we're gonna do with a PNG is we're gonna put the shirt color behind it. In this case, we can kind of pick our shirt color. Uh, you can do it with black, white, anything in between. But for this one, we're gonna do kind of a purplish color. So first things first, let's duplicate this layer, Command or Control J, because we're gonna do a lot of messing up with this, so you might want your original kind of preserved. So we're gonna take this and we're gonna add a new layer. So click the little plus icon, hit Shift Delete to fill it. And in this case, we can't like pick a color, off of the image, but what we will do is we'll choose kind of a purplish color. 
like a purple shirt. So maybe something like that. I don't want it super bright because a physical shirt isn't gonna be like super bright like that. Another thing you could do it if you have a NYX or an x right any kind of spectra photometer, you could actually scan the color of the actual shirt you're gonna use. That would be like a pro move for sure. But in this case, we can pick anything that's kind of relatively close to it. So I'm gonna pick that purple, click okay. Let's move it behind that top layer. Let's uh, select the top two layers. Hit Command and Control E to merge them. Next, you wanna duplicate this layer again. So Command J, because this is the layer we're gonna put the half tone on because we want the shirt color in there. We're gonna hide that for now. Then we're gonna add a new layer on top and this is gonna be that overlaid purple to make the purple black like we did with the alligator, but with green in that case. So Shift Delete, we're gonna select a color and we're gonna select that same purple color we've already been using. And then I'm gonna go to blending mode and we're gonna go to difference. Then I'm gonna select these top two layers and hit Command or Control E to merge them. Right click, duplicate to a new document. And then I'm gonna go image mode grayscale, image adjustments levels, we're gonna bring the white way, 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 way down. Bring the black up a little bit. Just wanna look at those transition areas and feel like it goes white too suddenly. I can adjust some of that a little bit, but I know brighter is gonna be better. So let's put it about 60. I could change my gray in there a little bit if I wanna tweak with it just a touch. But that looks like it'll be good. Click OK. And then image mode bitmap. Now in this case, I want to um, have a little bit better transition because it's kind of a fade versus the other one, which was kind of like a little more harder-ish lines. So I'm gonna actually use a higher frequency, which is gonna give me smaller dot transition. So from one size to another, it's a little bit smaller. It's not as stark of a change. So click OK. This looks horrible, but it's just the way the computer renders it. If I zoom in, you'll see we have a good transition. All right, so Command or Control A to select everything, Command or Control C to copy it, go back to the original. We're gonna hide that ugly one. <laughs> We're gonna look at our good one. Let's add our layer mask. Hold down Option or Alt and click on the layer mask. Hit Command or Control V to paste our halftone screen, and there we have it. If we zoom in, we're gonna see we got nice halftone fades here, showing up that purple color. And then to verify our work, hit the plus icon, drag our layer below, shift delete. Again, we've already selected the purple color, so we can just click OK. There it is. Now, if we wanna check it, we can kind of jump back and forth, so hold down shift and click on the layer mask and it'll act, turn it on or off. Now, like I said, we lose some stuff, but that's pretty normal. However, this will always print a million times better than the non-halftone version. The non-halftone version will have all this nasty, blown out, weird, it's just horrible. Finally, I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of a bonus image here. Now this image, you might not look at it and immediately go, ooh, a half tone would be a really great way to knock out the, the tan color or the background color, but it really is. Partially because we've got a little bit of a glow, a white glow kind of happening here around the robot. And so if you try to just cut it out, you'd lose that nuance of that background glow. The other thing is you've got areas like his face here and the ground here that are kind of a tan-ish color that would it would really benefit from having some of those areas knocked out, not only from a, a saving money on ink standpoint, but also the hand feel will be dramatically better. So let's do this one. First step, duplicate the layer. Second step, Add a new layer and let's fill it with a color. In this case, we're gonna hit color and select this tan background. Now we're gonna to go to the blending modes and we're gonna go difference. Then we're gonna select the top two layers, command or control E to merge them. Right click, duplicate layer to a new document. Click OK. Image mode grayscale image adjustments levels. Now this one's gonna be a little different than the other ones because we got like kind of a full image. We're gonna bring this way down though and you see how it's kind of like lightening up those areas. I'm gonna actually bring it down a little further so you can see it. 
light, like those areas, if those printed as half tones, they would be very small dots and they just, they would look kind of muddy. And so I am gonna bring up the black a little bit. It's gonna get rid of some of that craziness there. And I really just want to half tone that glow in the background. That looks pretty good. I like that. Click OK. Image mode bitmap. And in this case, instead of 40, I'm gonna use 35, kind of my standard there. Command or Control A to select all, Command or Control C to copy it. Go back to the original, hide the ugly one, select the good one, add a layer mask, hold down Option Alt, click, and Command and Control V to paste it, and there we go. And now if you look, his face has got some halftone dots in it, his eyes have been knocked out, because if you just basically remove the background, you would miss the opportunity to do some of the knockouts in here. There's even some knockouts here on his legs in his hands, that's gonna make this image feel a whole heck of a lot softer. Half toning it, giving it a little bit of some open space throughout the whole thing. Well, that's how to half tone on literally any color shirt. Now, the half tone knockout doesn't need to be the exact same color, but it needs to be really close to the exact same color. So if you had like a light blue versus like a medium blue, it would probably work, but it wouldn't work to do it like a purple knockout for a a red shirt, that wouldn't work. You wanna be pretty close to the same color. If you have more questions about half toning, make sure you put them in the comments below and we will make a future video answering those questions. And just to make it easy, I've put all of our half tone videos in a playlist you can find right over here. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.